Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna share a project that you can make easily for anyone on your holiday gift list or for yourself. We're gonna make a wooden tray from scratch. It's so easy. And I'm also gonna show you how to paint these ceramic mugs. This video is brought to you by Plaid. We're gonna be using their vintage decor chalk paint as well as their multi-surface acrylics. There are some beautiful shades in both of the lines. The great thing about the chalk paint is that it requires no prep whatsoever. Just wipe it with a damp cloth. And the great thing about the multi-surface acrylics is that you can use them on any surface from fabric to ceramics to wood. It's incredible stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by making the tray. I am using a piece of masonite that's 12 inches by 16 inches, and I found this beveled scrap of wood in my husband's scrap bin, so I asked him to cut it for me in one and a half inch sections. That's gonna be feet, so I've had him cut four of those, and you'll see me glue those on at the end. Now I'm simply gonna use two coats of vintage decor chalk paint in ivory, and I'm using some of the brushes provided by Martha Stewart. That little kit of brushes there is super useful because you'll be able to do all the projects that I'm showing you here with that kit of brushes plus the larger uh, chalk paint brush that is super, super useful. So what I do is I do one coat on each side. I make sure I give them at least two hours to dry and then I'm going to recoat on the front before going on with any further painting. Once the background is completely dry, you can stencil. I am using the chalk paint brush for this because the bristles are cut flush. I'm pouncing the paint onto my little palette there, which is just made out of a scrap of plastic packaging, and then I'm pouncing it on over my stencil. If you don't have a stencil, don't worry, just use painter's tape to mask off your stripes. If your stencil is smaller than your board, you'll simply need to let it dry in between and move your stencil over and keep on stenciling until you've covered the entire board. You can speed the drying time up with a hair dryer if you don't want to wait. It's actually quite easy. Then I dusted the edges with a little bit of paint to give it that distressed look. I wanted this set to be able to be used all winter long, so I decided to stencil on a snowflake motif. Using two shades of the Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor paint, I am able to add beautiful texture and dimension within the stenciled images. First I pounced on the light color paint, and then I pounced on the darker blue as a shadow, and I'll put a list of all the colors I used in the video description in case you want to recreate the exact same project that I made here. The great thing about stencils is that you buy them once and you can use them forever. I've had this stencil for about 10 years or more, and um, it has certainly gotten a lot of great use over the years. Now, one tip about stenciling, you wanna make sure your brush is completely clean and dry before you begin. So if you just wash that brush after using the red paint, it needs to be completely dry before you stencil. So I recommend having a couple of these brushes. You won't regret it. Then just like I did with the red paint, I am distressing the edges of the tray with the blue paint. These layers of distressed edges really add to that vintage look and make it look like you spent a lot of time on this project. I think it looks fantastic, but we're not done yet. While the tray is drying, let's get started on our mug. I'm using the Martha Stewart Crafts Multi-Surface Acrylic Paint in gold, bronze, and silver. Now the first thing you want to do before painting is to wipe down the mug with rubbing alcohol. That will remove any dust, dirt, grime, or oils from your fingerprints so that the paint can really bond well with the surface. Start by loading up your flat brush with bronze paint and then tap on a branch. Now you could use the round brush in the kit, but I find you get a more consistent line of paint by applying the paint this way. You can put on as many or as few branches as you like. Now using the largest flat brush that comes in your kit, you wanna load it up with silver paint. And notice how I'm kind of pulling the paint on each side of the brush so it loads up evenly and I get a nice sharp chisel edge. Then you're gonna simply tap on pine needles in a fan formation at the ends of all of your little branches. Next, use a cotton swab and gold paint to apply berries on your branches. I think it looks pretty if you dab on the berries in groups of three because your mind just likes odd numbered uh, clusters a little bit better than even numbered clusters, but you can put as many or as few on as you like. This is a really fun and easy to reproduce design. You could even try it in different colors if you like. Now to make this mug dishwasher safe, you wanna let it air dry for 21 days before using it, and then you can use it just like you would any other dishware. Now just to be cautious, I don't like to put paint on that upper lip of the uh, mug or any place it will come in contact with food just to be safe. I had some leftover silver paint after painting the mug, so I decided to paint some swirls around my snowflakes on my tray. Remember, this metallic paint is multi-surface. You can use it on everything from fabric to wood to glass and so much more. Anything you can think of, really. So I thought, why not? I'm gonna add some pretty swirls around my snowflakes. You can totally leave this out, though, if you prefer the chalk finish instead. 
After the swirls on the front were dry, I flipped over my tray and I glued on the feet that I had my husband cut from that scrap of wood I showed you at the beginning of the video. I'm just using hot glue to attach a foot in each corner of the tray. It's nice and sturdy and I got to use something that was just going to be thrown away, which I think is totally awesome. After you finish gluing on the feet, the glue will be dry pretty instantly and you can paint the bottom of the tray any color you like. I decided I would go with red. After the tray is dry, you're going to want to protect it with some vintage decor wax or a sealer of your choice. To finish up this gift set, I wrapped up some hot cocoa packets in some organza fabric and then tied on a sweet tag and some berries using baker's twine. I think it looks adorable and would be a wonderful gift. If you'd like to find out more information on Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor and Multi-Surface Acrylics, please visit michaels.com slash Martha Stewart or stop by your local Michaels store. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!